What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. We gotta find this limit over here. Limit as x approaches nine of x minus four root x plus three all over root x minus three. Notice if we do a direct substitution, what is going to happen is we're gonna end up with zero at the top, zero at the bottom. It's gonna be zero over zero. So we're gonna to have to go about this with a different strategy. And there's actually two different ways to do it. So the uh, less obvious one, in my opinion, is if you notice, you can actually factor these. So, uh, or you can factor the numerator. And the numerator, it factors into root x minus uh, one, and then root x minus three. And that's still gonna be all over root x minus three. If you were to take these two brackets, and if you were to foil them out, you're gonna end up having two square root terms. You simplify them, you'd end up getting negative four root x in the middle. So if you expand this, if you foil it out, you would end up getting that. And so then these cancel out, then you could plug in nine for root x, which would be uh, square root of nine is three minus one, that would give you two. So that's one way to go about it. You could factor this, but because you're dealing with these root x's, it's not really a quadratic. Uh, it's a little tougher to deal with, but what you can do, the second way is you can actually turn this into dealing with a quadratic in the numerator and you can do a change of variable. So if I let uh, m equal root x, from here we could tell if we square both sides, that means m squared equals x. And then also as x approaches nine, what is m gonna approach? m is gonna approach three, right? Because the square root of nine is three. So notice that we can change everything here, all the variables. So for this uh, limit x approaching nine, we could put m approaches three. For this x here, I'm going to put um, an m squared minus four, root x is m, then we got plus three over root x, which is m, then we got minus three, like that. So this here, is going to be m minus 3, m minus 1, like that, over m minus 3. Notice that m minus 3s cancel out. And now we can substitute 3 for uh, m, 3 minus 1 gives us 2. Another thing I forgot to mention is at this point, notice that if we still do a direct substitution, we'd still have that 0 over 0 format if we sub in 3 for m just like when we sub in nine for x up here, we still had that same format, which makes sense because we just changed the variable, but the results should remain the same. And then we go into factoring, and then uh, we're left with this m minus one, and then we get uh, two. So whichever way you go about it, the uh, answer to this limit here is 